Hello, ninth graders. I am Raquel A. San Juan, a Mathematics 9 teacher from Ordaneta City National High School. In this lesson video, I will be discussing division of radical expressions, which is under the competency performs operations on radical expressions. Here are the things that you have to remember when dividing radical expressions. Just like in multiplication, you can only divide radicals of the same order. Now to divide radicals of the same order, you will apply the quotient property. And the quotient property states that the nth root of a divided by the nth root of b is equal to the nth root of a over b. And after that, you simplify by rationalizing the denominator. Let us have this example. Simplify square root of 3 divided by the square root of 10. Okay, applying the quotient rule, square root of 3 divided by square root of 10 can be rewritten as the square root of 3 over 10. And the next step is to rationalize the denominator. To rationalize the denominator, we will uh, multiply the original fraction by a certain number, such that after simplification, the denominator no longer contains radicals. So here, we will multiply 3 over 10 by 10 over 10. After performing multiplication, we will end up with the square root of 30 over 100. Now, you will notice 100 is a perfect square number, so we can uh, get the square root of that number and it becomes 10. Now, for the numerator 30, uh, that can no longer be simplified. Therefore, our final answer will be square root of 30 over 10. Okay, another example. Let us simplify the cube root of 5 divided by the cube root of 2. Now, applying the quotient rule, the cube root of 5 divided by the cube root of 2 can be written as the cube root of 5 over 2. And like what we did in the previous example, the next step is to rationalize the denominator. So, for this one, we will have to make the denominator a perfect cube number. Since the number is 2, I will multiply that number by 4. And whatever you multiply in the denominator is the same number that you will multiply in the numerator. That's why we have 5 over 2 multiplied by 4 over 4. And the result is the cube root of 20 over 8. And if we will get the cube root of the numerator and the denominator, it will result to the cube root of 20 over 2. And that is our final answer. In activity 4 of week 8, you will divide radicals and simplify the results. Now, I have here two problems which are similar to what you have in your activity sheet. Okay, let's have the first one. Square root of 15xy divided by 3 square root of 10xy uh, to the third power. Okay, by applying the quotient rule, the given can be rewritten as 1 third square root of 15xy over 10xy to the third power. Now, since the numerator and the denominator here contains uh, common factors, we can cancel them out. So, that expression can be reduced to 1 third square root of 3 over 2y squared. Now, the next step, of course, is to rationalize the denominator. So, I will be multiplying uh, 3 over 2y squared by 2 over 2. Remember, our objective here is to make the denominator 
uh, free from radicals. So, uh, we will make the denominator a perfect square expression. Okay, performing multiplication, you will end up with 1 third square root of 6 over 2y, which can be further simplified to square root of 6 over 6y. And that is our final answer. For the second problem, the given is 6m squared plus the square root of 2m squared divided by the square root of 5m. Okay, for this one here, um, what I will do is I will go ahead and rationalize the denominator. So I will multiply the fraction by the square root of 5m over square root of 5m. Now, since our numerator has two terms, when we perform the multiplication here, we need to apply the distributive property. So, uh, that means you will multiply 6m squared by the square root of 5m, and then the square root of 2m squared by square root of 5m. And that will become 6m squared square root of 5m plus the square root of 10 m to the third all over 5m. Now, here, we are going to divide both terms in the numerator by 5m and the result will become 6m square root of 5m over 5 plus square root of 10m over 5. What was done here is we simply uh, removed or canceled the common factors in the numerator and the denominator in order to get this final answer. Okay, so that ends our discussion for the lesson on division of radicals. It's been a pleasure uh, sharing this lesson with you. Thank you very much for listening and paying attention. Uh, again, if there are things that you need to clarify, do not hesitate to contact your Mathematics 9 teacher. Stay tuned for our next virtual instruction. Bye!